Learn how I go from this to this in any software that supports the use of a webcam via OBS Studio. OBS Studio is free and open source software for live streaming, video recording, and changing the way you look on camera. Today, we're going to take a look at the OBS Virtual Camera. In OBS Studio, click the Start Virtual Camera button. In your software of choice, choose OBS Virtual Camera as your camera. Let's build out our scene. To add your camera, go down to the sources, click the plus sign, go to the video capture device, add a name, click OK, select your camera from the list, adjust your settings. If you need to crop your camera frame, you can hold down the Alt key and drag the edges in. My green screen doesn't cover my entire background, so this is necessary for me. If you're using a green screen, you can right click on your camera source, go to the filters, add a chroma key filter and adjust the settings. We can incorporate branding elements via images and text. Let's add a background, a logo and a promotional image. Go to sources, hit the plus sign, Go to the image, locate the file on your computer and click OK. If you're using a GIF or PNG file with transparency built in, OBS will recognize that as well. You can adjust the size and position of your image on the canvas. Right-clicking on a source on the canvas will give you a contextual menu with a bunch of helpful options in terms of repositioning a source as well. Sources at the top of the list will appear as the top layer in your scene. In this case, we want to move the background to the bottom of the list so our camera isn't covered up. You can either press the down button or drag and drop the background into position. To add some text, click on the plus sign and select text GDI plus. Add your text. Choose whatever formatting options you like. Click OK. You can now resize and reposition your text. Because our promotional image and text are related, we might like to group these. To group two or more items, click on one source in the list. Hold down the control key and select the others. Right click and go to group selected items. You will be prompted to give the group a name. It's always a good idea to give your sources meaningful names so you know what they are. Now you can toggle the visibility of that group by clicking on the eye icon beside it. You can also set up a keyboard shortcut by going to the file menu, selecting settings, and then going to the hotkeys category. You can filter by promo, which was the name we gave this group. Click into the show promo box, press your keys, repeat this action for the hide promo box, Now when you want to toggle the visibility, you can do this via your keyboard. Bonus tip, if you have an Elgato Stream Deck, you can also set up a button for this as well. For more OBS Studio tips and tutorials, subscribe and ring that bell.